All my days are meaningless. Contemplative meaning, it was very slow. I really like the grainy video format. The acting of Mei Tokain is really good. Her eyes speaks a lot. So this this short film is very heavy for me because sometimes I also feel this this symptoms. Pero hello, mga labo tanga edges. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So tanga edges today we will be doing a Myanmar reaction video, but this time we will be doing a short film uh, reaction. So I was typing earlier short film Myanmar short film videos. Then I saw. I, a video that Meito Kain uh, uploaded on her YouTube video 10 months ago. So the title is I'm Alright. So it's a short film for Mental Health Awareness Month. So yeah, I think it's already a long, long time ago. So Meito Kain with her team, I think, created a video uh, with regards to the Mental Health Awareness Month, which is May, which is next month. So I hopefully... Uh, March, no, next, next month, because it's April pala next month, I'm sorry. But I just wanted to react to this uh, short film, Myanmar short film. So I, f I think, no, Meito Kain already had a lot of, uh, she went through a lot. And I think through this film, she can also somehow vent out her feelings na din. And also, it's also a way for her to share her experiences in a artistic way and to inspire more people hopefully uh yeah let's watch this uh video so at the beginning it's very nice because it has a warning so it says this video contains a uh, content that some may find disturbing so it's like a trigger warning sign which i like so let's play so we hear the water so i think it's in an up uh, what's wrong with me Nice one. So in the beginning, we establish a girl under the water. So she says, what's wrong with me? So after that shot, we see her at the bed. So I think this is a way that she is in her deep thoughts while she is in her bed. And I really like it has English subtitles, so it's not for, not just for Burmese people, also people outside Myanmar who can understand English also would understand uh, this film. So after she opens, uh, she has this uh, message written. So she said, symptoms include loss of pleasure in activities. So I think this is one... Uh, one indication that you are into a depression, uh, symptoms that include loss of pleasure and activities. So we reveal another character, a guy. All my days are meaningless. So we reveal another character who is uh, going through a roller coaster ride. So someone is calling him. So your yeah, inability to get out of bed. So I think she is uh, showing the signs and symptoms of depression through this visual film. I really like the grainy video format. Around 280 million people in the world suffer from, from depression. So we uh, show her under the water screaming. So it's like symbolism that sometimes uh, people with depression seems normal. But when they are going through a lot, when they want to shout, they want to vent out their feelings, it seems no one can hear them. So I think this is the symbol of that video. Around 280 million people in the world experience depression during a depressive mode the person experiences depressed mood feeling sad yeah so 
when you are when you are in your depressive mood you experience a roller coaster of emotion or a loss of pleasure and interest in activities for most of the day nearly every day for at least 2 weeks hmm. people from any background can suffer from depression which i totally agree so whether you're rich whether you're young old or poor or gay lesbian straight you know you will feel depressed We reveal two characters, a boy and a girl, uh, feeling the same. So there is a montage where they, when they, when you show them, like in a shot, na, na, there's a wide shot, and they are very small, so they feel very small and empty. Meito Khan is really good. Her eyes speaks a lot. So, in this shot, we show them uh, they try to take their lives. So, depression is the major cause of suicide. More than 700,000 people die from suicide every year. That is one person for every 45 seconds. <laughs> Very sad. There are many more who attempt suicide or think about it. So we reveal that they did not do the suicide. So it was, I think, in their thoughts. So thanks guys, don't be late. See you all soon. So she's thinking whether she will uh, go to her friends. So he, both of them uh, accepted the invitation from their friends. So we reveal, so in this shot, we reveal that both of these friends are also feeling the same way, but they cannot tell that they are in a depressive mood or because probably because of stigma, right? <laughs> Many people suffering from depression that a sick sort or care. I, I totally agree. Sometimes people feel that they are just sad, but the truth is they are feeling depressed. So it's a stigma that you know, it's not normal, and if you feel this way, there is a stigma, especially in the Philippines, in Asia as well, that you are not normal <laughs> if you are feeling sad. But I just wanted to say, you know, your feelings are valid. It's very important that you vent out what do you feel. Depression is an illness just like any other truth. Don't be afraid to seek help. Mm. Break the stigma, hashtag. That, then we end the clip. I think it's the end. Okay. <clears throat> Written by Willie. Directed by Team 99. We strip coffee. Finish. Okay. So yon, I felt. Uh, how do I say it? Somehow this film could could still be improved. Parang you can you can shorten it pa. But I felt they just wanted it to be long. They wanted it to be contemplative. So people will feel because when you are watching the film, it's very slow. It's very. It has a lot of visuals. It's not that. It's not talkative, literally. It's just too much, uh, not too much, it's just visuals showing uh, people suffering from depression. So I, I think 
it was also intentional that this film was uh, very contemplative, contemplative meaning it was very slow. All in all, I uh, enjoyed the film. I like also the grainy vibe because I want I felt the rawness of the video that it's not too it's not too HD, it's not too beautiful. And the acting of Meito Kain is really good. Her eyes speaks a lot. So this this short film is very heavy for me. Because sometimes I also feel the symptoms. But you know, I we all have our different journeys. We all have our own ways of coping. But for me, I just wanted to share my own experiences. So parang for me, I what I do is I usually uh, do affirmations in the morning that I am loved, I, my life is beautiful, my life has potential. So I will be linking yung mga affirmations na ginagawa ko, especially kay Lavender. Then I also work out a lot. I now tripled my workout. So I bike, I do yoga, I do meditation, I do weights now, and I run, I walk. So my activities uh, have changed. And yeah, I'm trying to eat the right food. It's, it's okay to vent out your feelings to the people you trust. And if you have the means or if you have, if you feel you need someone to talk to, I think there are a lot of psychologists naman na you can talk to. It's very normal to vent out your feelings. Sometimes we feel no one is, uh, no one is listening to us or no one is there for us. But you know, uh, sometimes we just have to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, and... Hi, Tang Edja. So, I'm currently editing the vlog now. I just wanted to add up that I'm really proud of these young individuals na parang, despite all the, all the challenges they have experienced in life, they're turning these challenges into something uh, beautiful and inspiring to other people. And I hope, uh, as individuals who are also using the social media, we I hope that we create videos that are inspiring and videos that are less toxic and videos that uplift each other instead of those gossips and making fun of people or bullying. I hope uh, we use social media properly and let's use our all the challenges that we have experienced in our life and turn it into something beautiful and magical to inspire people and to keep ourselves stronger. Yes, it's normal to feel this way and our feelings are valid. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's quite very personal. It's very... Uh... It's very personal and it's very heavy but I hope this video still inspires you guys and yeah. Goodbye Tangyajan Gayuzaiba! Ayan Chitay!